Hey guys, welcome to The Yard, where today we're going to be learning about how to do some homemade custom wood burning without a branding iron. Not long ago I saw a video by YouTuber Laura Kampf who showed how you can use a simple chemical process to burn wood and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. I started doing some research on it. I found articles in crafting magazines going back seven or eight years talking about this process and it is really cool and super simple to do. Really the only two ingredients we need for this are water and ammonium chloride. In her video, Laura Kampf says you can buy ammonium chloride in a pharmacy, and while that may be true where she is in Germany, it doesn't seem to be the case here in the United States, and you're best off buying it online. There are two forms that it comes in. You can buy bags of the powdered ammonium chloride, or you can buy it as a block of what's called sal ammoniac. It's the exact same thing, just compressed into a brick form. I already have some left over, because this is the same chemical we used in our negative X experiments. To start, we'll want about one half cup of water and one teaspoon of our powdered ammonium chloride. To get this into a powder form, I'm just gonna start shaving bits of it off this brick, and if any of it is in chunks that are too big, I'll just crush those up. Those are the ingredients you need. At this point, we have the solution that works to chemically burn our wood. There are several methods we can use to apply this onto our wood. Let's start by trying out a paintbrush. We'll take the ammonium chloride solution and we'll draw whatever design we want to onto the wood and we'll then hit it with a heat gun. The heat will activate the ammonium chloride and burn our design into the wood permanently. Let's see, I'm just gonna go for a sort of vine and leaf design here. That's a pretty simple design. Let's see how it takes when we hit it with our heat. This is something you'll need to be a little bit patient with. It doesn't activate immediately. It really has to get pretty hot before the burning starts happening. I can see the design starting to appear. Right now it just looks like sort of a pale yellow. And now we can see that we have successfully burned our design into the wood. I may have been a little bit hasty in some spots. If you concentrate the heat gun on one place too long, you're likely to start burning the wood itself everywhere that the heat gun is hitting, rather than just where you painted the ammonium chloride. So you do want to be careful about how you apply the heat. One of the cool things about using this liquid to make your designs in the wood is that there are a lot of different ways you can apply it. I was using a paintbrush, I also have this paintbrush styled pen, which you can fill with whatever liquid you want. I'll try pouring some of our ammonium chloride into this pen, and then I should be able to just write with the tip of the brush. My handwriting is pretty much garbage, so this isn't gonna look very good, but conceptually, you can just use your own handwriting to write something out and then burn it into a piece of wood really fun. Let's try a few other things. I've got a small piece of towel that I've soaked in our ammonium chloride solution and I'm going to try using a stamp and see if I can get a stamp to print onto the wood and then burn that in. Another great method is a three-step process that involves using stickers as a form of mask. You can use commercially available stickers if you've got them in the right shape or if you've got access to a vinyl cutter to cut custom shapes you can do that as well. Let's try taking some of these large alphabet stickers and using them as a mask to make a large welcome sign on this board. Our sticker has worked as a mask against the clear paint and we'll now apply our ammonium chloride mixture over the lettering. We should only get the burning effect where we had the stickers. The ammonium chloride solution is relatively safe, 
but if you are going to be using this trick on anything that's going to be in contact with food, make sure you wash it well first. One thing I really like about this technique is how easy it is to apply to curved surfaces as well as flat ones. A real branding iron may have some advantages over this technique, but it would also have a fairly hard time burning evenly onto a curved surface. There's one more thing that I want to try, and that's using a piece of sticker paper to cut out my own stencil and use that as a mask instead of using the pre-bought stickers that I've had before. The ammonium chloride and water solution is super easy to make and easy to apply in a variety of different methods so you can completely choose the design you want to burn into wood. Guys, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or need to check it out again, click up here at the top. Click down there if you want to see what it is you should be watching next. That's all for today. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.